here will kind of be where Bell's bedroom is. And so as you're, as you're going through um, and we're blocking some of these scenes before we actually have some of this stuff, you'll see this is kind of the main staircase to go wherever you want to go. So you come up here to go to Bell's room. You're going to have to come up closer to, to stage left, walk up these steps, and you're going to take a few steps before you can get all the way down to Bell's room down two staircases before you're in Bell's room. And so we can see here some of these scenes, you know, um, stay by the door. And so that scene, I forget where it is, but like. Uh, we are, we're certainly an urban high school. Um, we're right now around um, 18 to 1900 students. And um, the kind of the awesome thing is that we have students who are coming from all over Bethlehem. Our, our population is very diverse and that's what makes us special. Um, we have kids who have, you know, homes that are very expensive. We have kids who, you know, are struggling and families are struggling. Um, and they all coexist here together. And that's the, the best thing about this high school um, is, is the diversity that exists in this urban high school. The theater program here is, uh, it's, it's awesome. Uh, and it has a long standing history um, for, I've been here almost two decades. We give kids so many opportunities to shine here, and it's something that in their classes, they may not be as comfortable, but man, you put them on that stage, and they are an entirely different person. A beast, a horrible, terrible beast. Be careful not to, <laughs> yeah, just be careful. You were doing a really nice job when you walked in. When you walked in, you did a really nice job of making sure this foot was opening yourself to the audience. When you come to talk to them and you kind of flip that, be careful when you flip now, you have now blocked probably 75% of the audience from seeing your face. Okay. So you just want to be careful. If you want to ch turn more It was right them, around I'm after okay auditioning our, our fall show that we, uh, that we figured out, you know, we could pull off Beauty and the Beast. We, we have really talented women um, and, and the guys are, are right there with them. One of the major concerns every year is just every show is just making sure that you get a set built in time. And especially in a show like this, because by the time you get to your tech week or, or you get to your show week, you need a set completed. You're going to add special effects into a show. You're going to add quick change, quick costume changes into the show. You're going to add flying like we will for Beauty and the Beast. So you really want to make sure that all of the stuff that you can take care of ahead of time are taken care of so you could focus your attention on, on the things that need, need it the week of. And so uh, I would say making sure that we get the set build, built in time and painted and ready to go, um, the floor painted, things like that, that you might not think about going into a, 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 you know, a show. Those to me would be the major parts. We have a great team. I, I think we will do it without, without a hitch. We usually do. Um, but just being in, in early January um, right now and not having anything done, that would be my, my biggest thing keeping me up at night. It's a really fun score and it's fun in the sense that it's more along the lines of a traditional musical. The orchestrations are very, very serious. They are really so beautifully done with an orchestration which is incredible. It is difficult and also we're now back to singing things in four parts, five parts, six part harmony. So even though we think of Disney as being this fun and light kind of experience, it's nothing but, it's, it's not that at all. It is a very serious musical that is so well written and that expects vocal excellence. And vocally, there is no doubt that these students are, are and will do an incredible job. Saturday are our most hectic days uh, where we have everything going on. And so as you see behind me, uh, if I could turn, you see we have a bunch of our set building dads, our volunteers that come in every Wednesday evening and Saturday to help build sets. We have guys here. Uh, one of the guys that helps lead our build, his last uh, child graduated in 2006. He hasn't missed a show since and, and in 2023. Um, so we have a really great group of guys, uh, parent volunteers. Rich, who leads the effort this year, is really doing a wonderful job. Then another room you'll see we have our choreography happening um, where we're trying to get to all of our stuff is learned 
Now we're just trying to clean it to get it show ready in, in February, which is a good problem to have. Then our stage crew is all around the place. They're on stage right now, they're behind stage, and then we have our costuming efforts uh, well, well in hand and, and we're sewing. And so my job is to float between all three, four, and make sure everything's going well. And, and here's Rich, as I told you, the set building guy, which always has a question for me. Rich. We need more money. <laughs> always. <laughs> We have literally two sheets of Luan left. Okay. Uh, George has a truck. So I can, I mean, I can reimburse or I can just give you my debit card. Uh, who's the guest when I came back here? Great, I will. Let me go in my car and get it then. Okay. I'll finish this quickly and we'll do that. What happened? We had, in that huge pile, it's Dude, all gone? Two well, I had to give three sheets to Sophie to draw those detail pieces. Sure. I thought we had more than that, though. Yeah, okay. I mean, we, don't need, we haven't even done the bases, so there's no way we have enough. Gotcha. Sounds good. Because each, each one of these stupid things needs, like, six sheets because it's both sides and the detail layers. Gotcha. Gotcha. All good. So. Great. Yeah. I need more money. <laughs> I love it. Hey, story of the beast. <laughs> well, how's the play going so far? It's going great. What are your, what are the strengths of this crew? Um, I think we're all very, uh, definitely like one of the biggest strengths is we're all worrying, willing to work very hard. Um, every day we come out and we work very hard and very strong and we're very confident. Um, even if we mess up, we try to do it as confidently as possible. Um, and we just we just try to work as a team. What what year are you? Uh, I'm a senior. This is your senior. So you've been in a, a bunch of shows, or is this one of your first? Um, so this is actually my, only my third show. Uh, I joined last year. Um, I definitely should have joined my freshman year. It would have been a way better experience. What made you get into it? Um, I've always loved the arts, and I've had a thing for music. So last year, um, one of my friends told me about it, and I was like, well, I should give it a try. So yeah. seems like a great group. Yeah, they're really they're awesome. Yeah, I love them so. When you do anything, that's an excellent point. When you do anything like that, whether that's here or whether that's these jumps, there's no weight on your on your on the foot that is forward or the foot that is back. There's zero weight on it. Your standing leg is supporting everything, and you have to pull up through your core so that it is just touching the floor very lightly. Okay. Once you start to put weight in it, that's when we start to see it bend. So you have to. That's going to be one of those things that, like, at home, to hold onto a chair or something so you can like feel that. Okay, that's one of those practice things. Let's run this one more time and then we're gonna soft shoe. My name's Priscilla Salazar, and I do painting for the sets, I do the props for the sets, I do costumes, hair, and makeup. The challenge is the set is very intricate, so there's got to be a lot of detail work that has to be done for painting. The costumes, there are so many costumes because each player sometimes wears three different costumes each. So getting everybody fitted for the right costumes, uh, ordering stuff, it comes in, they don't fit, the color's wrong, sending it back, trying to find something else has been very challenging. I've been dealing with theater since I was in high school. I worked with Lafayette. Uh, the Little Theater at Lafayette, and I've never gotten out of it. I just have been always involved with theater. Uh, I've been here doing plays at Freedom now. It has to be like maybe 15, 16 years, and I've never had a child in the show. So I'm here because I love it. I'm flew by. Yeah, but I think we're good, so it's yeah. okay. I'm very what, prepared. Yeah. What's the best thing about Freedom Theater? I'd say just like the friends you make along the way. Like, yeah. you know, everybody just has this connection and it's just it's like one big happy family. Yeah. I think it's just
just like you get to spend time with your friends too. Yeah. So yeah. I have to agree with that. It's like a community we build. It's like all all of us like each other. We're all friends, families. and we continue. In character, in character. So we are a few weeks out and I am really excited about the progress. We still have some things to work on to get us to where we really need to be. Um, I feel really great. It felt like the past weekend or so we've had really great choreography rehearsals that you're really wondering when are the kids going to bring it that you believe that they're ready to go. Because for a long time, until they really do it full out, you know, my knee hurts so I'm going to sit this one out or I'm out sick or this, you know, for the first time in a while we had our whole cast in. They did it, they did it to their best ability and we realized we have a really good show. And so we had one of those first moments that really felt great. Um, and our set, you know, it is, we knew from the start it was incredibly ambitious. And as you see behind me, um, we're in on a random Monday afternoon, you know, trying to make sure that we get things um, done. Hey, my timing's not bad, Mr. Moran. Do you want me to stay behind the car, please? Yes. Something happened. I cannot sing right okay, now. Okay, gotcha. So, as opposed to before when you could Saturday, sing. Saturday, I was fine. You was you could sing then, <laughs> or you were singing. I'm I'm a walk away now. Are there any concerns that I have? Just about, I know it sounds silly, but remaining healthy. I, I see and I, I feel like we have a lot of sickness happening. You know, there was a bug that went around recently that we had a lot of students out for. Um, so it's hard to, you know, it's hard to run Beauty and the Beast without some, you know, without Belle or something like that if, if someone gets ill. Um, but at the end of the day, I, I just worry that we're taking care of our voices, things like that, because I have students that are on vocal rest and things like that, that it's, again, it's hard to tell where you stand when you're not able to do it full out and get ready to go. So I guess my only thing is let's, Please remain healthy. We have we have a few weeks to go, and want to make sure that we're all full, 100% ready to go. Um, you know, come April 19th. I think we're ready. Like, I think we're very well prepared and the set's coming along. There's still a lot of work with the set, but it'll get there. What's the best thing about Freedom Theater? The best thing? The community, definitely. Like, I feel like we have such a close-knit bond, whether you're cast, crew, pit, we all like are very connected and close, so. For who could ever learn to love a beast? For who could ever learn to love? To love? A beast. A beast. <laughs> Spot. Spot, please. Spot, pretty, please. Spot, there we go. Thank you. you <laughs> pretty, please was, was what we needed. You know, at 30, the neat thing is I'm really not old enough to be any of their parents. Um, but you know, I'm 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 not young enough to be their friends, and so I I, th I feel like I have a great opportunity to make a tremendous impact on their lives, and I take that responsibility very seriously. And so this is the second class that I will see come as freshmen and, and leave as seniors. Uh, this has been year five, and so um, I'm just so proud to see their growth, to see them take challenges every single day, and and every show process to to feel like they've really taken on the the identity. I think of of my own values in many ways. They've taken that identity that there's no such thing as perfection, for instance. And every day, if we can get a little bit better and a little bit closer, um, 
we'll get to where we want to be. But if we ever think that we're there, we've already fallen behind. And and I say all that because I see that they've taken that on. I, I see them take these challenges and and take them, you know, take them to heart. And uh, it is mentally and physically exhausting to do what they do and to be able to be a, a, a small part of that and in a in a small window of their lifetimes, but an, a very impactful uh, period in, in a student's lifetime. It's an honor. Those students, I hate to say those kids because they're not kids, but those students are the reason I do what they do. I mean, you, you talk about you know some of the seniors that are graduating. I, I won't I won't try to you know pinpoint any specific uh, any specific ones of them because they're all so important to me. But they're the reasons you you do what you do. And uh, if it wasn't for them, you know, I, I wouldn't want to come in here every day. And so um, I, I I adore them, and I'm I'm so happy for their success. Figuratively and, and, and literally, we don't let the spotlight be too big for us. You're going to have a cool house out there, and they deserve the show as if it's the first time that you're doing it. You're hyper-focused. Every single scene, every line is the first time this audience has seen it. They deserve you to be at your best. Do not go on autopilot. You guys are freaking rock stars. I hope you have a great performance, and I can't wait to see you afterwards. Good luck to you. Thank you. 